How to differentiate between dextrocardia and limb leak. Reversal on an ECG. Welcome back to the Cardiologist Channel, your go-to resource for all things medical. Today we're diving into the world of electrocardiograms, or ECGs, and showing you how to spot the differences between dextrocardia and limb lead reversals. Whether you're a medical student, a practicing professional, or just curious about cardiology, this video is for you. Before moving on, we have a small request. Please subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon. Also, consider liking, sharing, and commenting. It helps immensely. Understanding an ECG can be challenging, especially when anomalies like dextrocardia and limb lead reversals come into play. So, let's break it down with some clear examples and tips on what to look for. First, let's quickly recap what a normal ECG looks like. Here you can see the P wave, QRS complex, and T wave. The QRS complex should predominantly be positive in leads 1 and 2. Now, let's talk about dextrocardia. Dextrocardia is a condition where the heart is positioned on the right side of the chest. On an ECG, this presents some unique characteristics. Primarily, you'll notice that the QRS complex in lead 1 is negative. This is because the main vector of depolarization is directed rightward instead of leftward. Also, leads AVR and AVL will appear reversed. Lead AVR will show a predominantly positive deflection, while AVL will be mostly negative. This is the opposite of what you would see in a normal heart orientation. In other words, the recordings of lead AVR and AVL are interchanged. In contrast, limb lead reversal, such as when the arm leads are switched, creates a different pattern. The most common type of reversal is when the right and left arm leads are swapped. In this scenario, lead 1 will appear predominantly negative, similar to dextrocardia. However, the key difference lies in the other limb leads. For limb lead reversal, look at leads 2 and 3. Lead 2, which normally looks at the heart from right to left, will show a low amplitude or even an inversion of the usual waveform if the leads are reversed. Lead 3 often becomes disproportionately positive. These findings in the limb leads are quite similar to those found in dextrocardia. However, this can be differentiated by looking at the progression of the R waves in precordial leads. In dextrocardia, the progression of the R wave is reversed, while in limb leads reversal the R-wave progression is normal. So, how can you quickly tell them apart? Remember this tip. Check lead AVR in both cases. In dextrocardia, it will be unusually positive because of the heart's rightward orientation. In limb lead reversal, AVR will typically look normal or show an exaggerated usual pattern, depending on which leads are reversed. Here's a summary chart you can use as a quick reference. Notice the key points, lead 1 inversion, lead 2 behavior, and the unusual positivity in AVR for dextrocardia. And there you have it. With these tips, you should feel more confident in distinguishing between dextrocardia and limb lead reversals on an ECG. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep analyzing those traces. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, Subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. Share this video with your peers and let us know in the comments what other topics you'd like us to cover. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.